Hey everybody, another day, another pickup video. Let's check out what's in this. Mother load. Shh, it's Commodore 64 games. Hey guys, Brendan Nick K. A. Mr. Weaverface in my house. Actually, in my video game room. Uh, I'm very pleased to be here in front of you because I have not been able to do a video in my video game room because it's been an absolute mess of a disaster lately. But if you've been watching my recent videos, you've seen that I've been trying to make some organizational sense of the space. Uh, did get a couple things accomplished. Got the PlayStation 2 shelf all organized. Got the Commodore 64 shelf all organized. And one of the nice things about organizing everything and alphabetizing everything is that I actually found some games that I overlooked that I have doubles of, that I have extras of, and that, that I have upgrades of. So I'll be able to sell off that excess and make some money. So it's kind of like finding an ex like a hidden $5 in your jeans pocket that you forgot about. Um, so that's cool, right? Finding free money, I'll take it. Uh, but anyway, the purpose of this video, sorry for that stupid digression, uh, the purpose of this video is to open this lot of Commodore 64 games that I got on eBay. And the story went is that I saw this slot on there and it was a pretty good price. It was going for about $130 and there was only one bid on it. And I was checking out this slot last minute. I was playing some uh, game called Spot It with my kids. It's like a quick th thinking matching game that they like playing. And in between games, I was check just checking eBay on my phone, and the, the lot was ending very soon, like in seconds. And I just threw an extra $5 bid from what the original bid was, the starting price, and, and I ended up <laughs> winning the lot. And I, there was no competition for it, evidently, or it was a weird time of night, because there's a lot of cool games in here. And I honestly forget what is actually in this box, because I've had this for over a month now. Uh, and I just haven't opened it yet. So what I'm gonna do next is open up the box and show you all the cool games in there And we'll see if I got a pretty good deal or not. So stay tuned. All right trusty Swiss Army knife Opening it up official opening unboxing Commodore 64 lot from eBay <laughs> bearing with me on that. I thought all the games would just be like stacked in there. I could just pull them out and show them to you. But uh, thank you to the buyer for actually packing it that way. It was actually very, very nicely packed. Um, so let's just roll through everything here. A bunch of Commodore 64 stuff, boxed games, loose games, manuals. Uh, I'm, I'm excited to go through it. Uh, top 20 solid gold, so pretty much uh, 20 games. Uh, one of them includes Caverns of Kafka. I mentioned that in my Commodore 64 collection video, not that great of a game. Uh, so, 20 games there. Panzer Battles. So, War Strategy Game. Looks pretty cool on the back, actually. I don't usually do uh, play War Strategy games like that. A game called Speedball by Spotlight Software. Interesting. Aliens, the computer game. Box a little dusty. Uh, made by Activision. Box a little bent up uh, and a little tear there on the top. Okay, Gauntlet 2. I highlighted Gauntlet and Gauntlet the Deeper Dungeons, and so now I have Gauntlet 2. Very cool, man. And the manual and the disc in there. So, so cool. All right, this is a game I've been looking for for a while Demon Stalkers. Uh, very similar to Gauntlet, but uh, a little bit more involved. Uh, and it actually includes a dungeon construction set if you wanted to uh, make your own dungeons. So that is awesome. I've been, I saw gameplay of this on YouTube. Um, so I'm excited to actually boot that up. Manual, code wheel. A lot of games had uh, code wheels back then to uh, deter pirating. And we know all, <laughs> we know all. I'll know how well that went. 
Um, Operation Wolf. Cool. I don't know. You know, there's no light gun for the Commodore. I guess you just use a move a reticle around. Uh, but pretty cool inside there. Um, and screenshots. Looks pretty decent. But again, they could be showing uh, Atari or Amiga screenshots there like they usually do. Uh, Alcon. Uh, not the uh, the eye <laughs> drug company, uh, but this looks like a uh, ultimate planetary battle. Looks impressive. Uh, Sky Fox. Very interesting. This says demo copy not for resale. That is pretty neat. I never knew they had demo copies. The disc doesn't say anything different. Oh, it does! Get the heck out! That is awesome, man. I know, like, you know how not for resales are a collecting element of its own, like for Super Nintendo and Nintendo 64. So that is so cool, man. I, I never knew that they had demo copies not for resale. That is that has to be worth something. I, I I'd be interested, you know, fellow collectors, if you have any idea what that's worth. I mean, the box is okay, but it's pretty neat. All right, so uh, another value pack: Thunder Mountain Action Pack Volume One. Ten games for the price of one. Equinox is a name that sounds familiar. Parallax also sounds familiar. Um, and the Great Escape. So pretty cool. Is the back. What does the inside look like? Okay. Well, they packed it up pretty good because she put like bubble tape and um, extra stuff. And this actually reminds me. I actually do have. Now that I'm looking at the disc, I actually do have discs that look like this. Um, so this is what the box looked like. That is awesome. I'm learning a lot with these pickups, man. And I love Commodore 64 stuff. That is so incredible. That's cool. Adding to my collection. All right, another collection, the Sega collection. Outrun Afterburner, Shinobi, Thunderblade, and Alien Syndrome all in one pack. That is so cool, $169 value. And I paid less than that on the whole lot. That's so awesome. Ah, oh, I'm getting excited. Okay. Another Thunder Mountain Action Pack, Volume 2 now. A uh, bunch of games on here. Bad Street Brawler. Um, that's like Bad Dudes, I guess, kind of port. Um, other games I didn't really notice. But evidently there's a, uh, a joystick offer for what's called the Power Player's Joystick. You can see that there. I don't know how to get that, but I won't open it. I am very excited with this lot, by the way, and if you're still watching, you are obviously into Commodore 64 stuff. All right, so Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles box is smashed, but uh, I didn't know that they had this. I do have the arcade game for the Commodore 64 I showed in my video, um, but uh, yeah, now there is a bit of tape on here, so I don't know what the deal with that what that is on the front. Um, Again, a bunch of IBM Amiga screens, and there's like one Commodore screen on the bottom. All right, Akari Warriors. Very cool. Double Dragon 2, The Revenge. I have Double Dragon. Commodore 64 screenshot. They actually show a coin-op arcade screenshot on the bottom. That, that's my only pet peeve. If you're going to sell a Commodore 64 games, it should be all Commodore 64 screenshots on the back. All right, so we got Tetris. And I did have a box and manual of this, and now I have the boxed games. And this is the version that actually has, like, the different backgrounds. Again, other screenshots, though, so I don't know what the Commodore is going to look like. So I'm very anxious to play that on the Commodore. All right, Blasteroids by Tenjin. Looks very cool. 
and I don't even know how many games are in this lot. I'm just going through them. Um, Might and Magic 2. Very, uh, you know, any of these uh, role-playing RPG adventure games, um, pretty, pretty decent value to them. This is by New World Computing uh, with some screenshots on the back. Um, in a previous slot, I did pick up just a box, I think, and I don't know where it is right now, of uh, I think just uh, Might and Magic, the first one. So I'm trying to add more to that. Uh, this I already have. This will go on my resellers, but it's cool. There's a Toys R Us sticker on there for $29.99. That's how much this cost back then. Uh, so Gold Box Advanced Dungeons & Dragons game, Curse of the Azure Bonds. All right, Frogger. On disc, I have this on uh, on cartridge. Okay, Xevious. I actually saw a uh, lot for this with a bunch of games recently for like 15 bucks, but it didn't have this type of uh, this type of. It was actually like a like a cardboard box. This is kind of like uh, the same material used in those uh, Trapper Keepers. Yeah, Trapper. <laughs> Oh, where did that where did that come from trapper keepers oh man that's like from way back uh, but like any note you know three three ring binder type thing uh, no manual there but I, I'm impressed with this lot for 100 less than 150 bucks altered beast man cool games coming out of here I'm just going through the box stuff there's even some loose games here uh, Empire war game of the century. Risk, I own that. That's going on the resale pile. Space Harrier. I don't think I have that one. I do have Outrun. I already do have it in that uh, Sega pack, but very cool to have it loose by itself. All right, and it looks we have looks like we have Gauntlet, another variant. I have the one that is the flatter one, like that Alcon game. Uh, so cool. Almost done with the box games. Uh, Akari Warriors Part 2, Victory Road. And this is a much, I have a like cut box for this. So this is much of an upgrade. So that's very cool. A couple more, Star Empire. Game of courage, a game of high adventure, of space travel and enormous risks. The ultimate space odyssey. Okay, interested to hear what that's about. And the Rubicon Alliance Super Value Software. Looks like kind of a Star Wars type uh, X-Wing TIE Fighter type game. That is my Commodore 64 lot. That was amazing. Um, I'm gonna tally it up and put the uh, savings in the comment section below rather in this video. But uh, yeah, that is, to I mean, even box games, I mean, even if they were just five bucks a game, you know, that, I don't even know how many box games there were. There was there was a lot. This video is long, long already. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed my uh, unboxing of my uh, eBay pickup of, of Commodore 64 games. If you did like the video, please share it with all your friends, family, pets, and neighbors. I appreciate it. Please subscribe to the channel as well. I'm Brendan, a.k.a. Mr. Weaverface. Take care.